What is up, everybody? How y'all doing? Today, we are working on a Lexus IS300. Yes, no Honda today. New X, no, I didn't buy one. It's his. So, as you see, I'm really not doing anything today. For the master who teaches the grasshopper, bikes on, wax off. So, gonna do his radiator today. His radiator. Because it's leaking like right here. And his belt and his thermostat. Did you get, did you get everything? Yeah. Alright, so. It's not boosted. You know, it's NA. He don't be wanting to boost nothing. He ain't about that life. And then later on, we're going to be putting some coilovers on this bad boy. Quarantine makes you spend money. Are these my rotors and pads? What? Oh, these are mine, right? Those are mine. These? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mine's came in today, too. Yeah. Once I get the Dell sold back, we're going to be doing some drilled and slotted rotors. They came in today. So you already know. Watch out for a video for that coming soon. Who that? Oh. My girl's uncle. So. Y'all hurry up, man. Take the reservoir off. Take the top hose off. Unplug the fans. Take the intake box off. It should be smooth sailing. Bad thing is it's automatic, so it's probably gonna leak fluid. So you gotta drain all the water antifreeze and then cap off the transmission lines after we unbolt them. So they don't leak all over the floor. And so you gotta remove the bottom plate cover, which is 10 mil bolts. Like mostly if your car has all of them. It's about one, two, three, about a 10 of them. But if your car is pretty old, which all IS300s are pretty old, they don't have all the bolts. Cause you know, it's a lot easier just to not put them all back in. Yeah, why am I working on your car, bro? What? Well, I did all that. No, 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 dog. So, we took the paint off. We are now draining it from the drainer. It's taking forever. We loosen the transmission line, which is here. We got to just pull that off. Then we loosen this one, and we got to just also pull that off. I wish it would focus. And then we took the clamp off of the bottom radiator hose, which I should just pull off. But. I'm trying to teach him right. Un Unclamp the temperature sensor, I'm guessing. It goes right here. Uh, and that's basically it for the bottom. So it's still working on the top. Dude, what are you doing? Yeah, play with finagle it from the bottom. There you go. Spear sweetheart, unplug your fans. Chop chop, mother. Never gonna get sponsored. Need metal. Oh, it is metal. Oh. Damn, son. Let there be light, homie. What's the clip? Are you serious? Dude. Push it in. Yeah. And that's sensitive nails, bro. Hold this. Just be very careful, you don't want to break the clip. Then you'll be wiring your fans directly. There you go. There you go. Get her done. Just don't forget to plug those up. It'll be a bad day if you don't. There's oh, the other thing breathing for the fuse box.
So the radiator is out. As you see, there's a little mess. With it, but that's okay. So now he's removing the rad fans. Kind of blue hood. Broken. But that's okay. They still work. Real bad from right here. Yeah, actually, I'm from the bottom. I was leaking everywhere. Sheesh. So now. You got it? Yeah, it's not coming out. You get a ratchet, it's probably gonna snap. One eternity later. Alright, so all radiators out. We're done, we're done messing with it. It's destroyed. You see, look at all the aluminum all over the place. It's like a haunted house, bitch. So, here's a new rad fan. Now, we already mounted the sensor on the radiator. That's done. Make sure this is tight. New lines are already there. All the clips are there, even though you can't even use some because some of the bolts are stripped out and old. Oh. What in the world is going on? Oh, oh. It's a clubhouse? It's about blow up, dude. All right. So now we're going to mount the fan up and then do the serpentine belt and the thermostat. Since we have all this room right now, might as well get it out of the way. And that's it. So let's go with that. Damn, I wish I could go. Oh. There you go. Get to work, dog. Oh, no. Damn. That radio is All right, so we got the belt off. Voila. And now with the thermostat is back here, so we gotta get to the thermostat. Which is so out with the old and with the new. The other one's pretty still good, but it was, you could tell it has, I don't know if you can see it on camera, can you see it? It's like pretty burnt. You want to overheat your car? Mm -hmm. Tell me I want a grub pump all day. That's why I get you all that. I'm not a sport, I can't it's, that. it's not focusing. I know, I don't know why. It's because of the lighting though. Look at this smoke. <sighs> Shizzle. All right, now we're gonna put the new one in. Yeah, use a wire brush. Clean that up. So it creates a good seal. Ew. It's like. Oh, you luck at the bulky. Oh, yeah. Oh, 